Welcome everyone. Uh, so in this video, we are going to see some of the points related to the data preparation that whatever we have covered earlier uh, for last few sessions about the data preparation, where we actually connected to uh, different uh, data sources like CSV files and Excel uh, data sources and uh, that we have performed some of the data transformation, data cleaning, and so many other operations which we have performed. Now the final steps in the data preparations are there, which we wanted to do. And for that, uh, let's go to the transform data, which is in a query editor. So till now we have all worked with the with the query editor only. So all these things, whatever the uh, queries which we have seen here. So all these are there and we have seen our different operations like how to uh, remove rows, how to add rows, then replace, uh, then splitting column. Uh, then we also seen pivoting and unpivoting. Uh, then we have seen some extra features. So uh, uh, detecting data type and uh, changing the data type of the column. So uh, there are so many things which we have uh, seen. And uh, you can see means what are the operations which we have uh, performed like uh, and that you can see on these uh, steps which are applied for each of the queries. So, so that is what we have done till now. Uh, we also seen um, appending the queries and merging query their difference. And so that's how uh, what we have seen. So major, major operations or the or perform uh, uh, process or operations which we perform in the data preparation or in the query editor that we have seen. Uh, with some of the examples so that um, it will be uh, helpful we do have created uh, some of the dates as well and based on means uh, the months and we have created uh, columns related to the dates and uh, uh, renaming the column and uh, other things so that's what we have done uh, last session we have combined uh, queries so like using append and merge features so uh, we have seen there are two uh, uh, queries which we have like uh, combined so if you this uh, if you see this uh, uh, this um, targets uh, for 2020 so this row this query was having 20, uh, 36 rows that we have combined in this uh, in this table like uh, we had around uh, like 144 uh, records uh, including this uh, targets for 2020 and now you can see this data in targets for 2020 is a duplicate data. Basically, this is not uh, required to be loaded because we have already combined that uh, this data to in this uh, targets uh, table. So this is one thing. Uh, this is a data duplication, and we wanted to uh, see how we can. Uh, miss. It's not necessary to keep this, and how we can uh, remove this. So this is one thing. Then we combine two uh, more tables like uh, state province and a city. So what are the state province data was there? Like it was having all these uh, 50 rows uh, that got combined in this um, in this uh, city table. So it's a big table, but yeah, we have combined all these uh, two tables uh, in a city table only. So that's what uh, we have done. And for this as well, means state province uh, table, we don't need it. Uh, we, because what happens, uh, so if you have multiple tables, every time uh, this uh, queries will get loaded. Suppose we are doing some operations as well uh, on some of the table, like let's say means I wanted to do some operations on this uh, and then um, save it. And then um, at that time as well, uh, this unnecessary, this uh, two uh, queries also gets loaded or it's, it's uh, used in the processing. So that takes time. Uh, so for performance for point of view as well, we should not keep these files uh, like this means, uh, means we can either delete it or if it is, we cannot delete it as well directly, don't need to delete it, but right click on this and then there is a enable load feature which is there. So just unselect this option. So uh, you can see this uh, disabling load will remove the table from the report and any visuals that use its column it will be broken means that means uh, what does this mean so now if i go to this uh, here uh, in the visuals in the visual section uh, you can see the state province and targets for 2020 is available so that's what it is showing right now so when we un uh, unselect this um, when we unselect these uh, options, like in the query editor, if you just uh, select this enable load, uh, like uh, remove this, then uh, and just continue it. And if I just uh, apply 
and if i go back to this uh, power bi you can see the state provenance table is not there so uh, that's how it is it is it doesn't available uh, for creating any videos so that's what we wanted we don't want anything to be uh, just be there for performance point of view as well we just need to uh, remove this so this is one thing so for targets for 2020 as well we are going to do the same things so that's how, what it is now whenever we are doing you can see uh, its names has been changed uh, in italic so you can see uh, what are the uh, these two tables which we have just uh, um, unselected unable load and that means it is not available and that gets differentiated with this font change so that that is one thing which is we wanted to understand that means whenever we have some other project we are just working on some existing project and we wanted to know which are the queries which are uh, enable load and uh, which are not enable load so by uh, seeing the their font we can understand that it this is not uh, selected uh, to load so that kind of things which we can understand from this and this is the uh, what it is uh, we can uh, uh, do it so this is very important step actually I and mean, whenever we are performing or we are whenever we are completing our data preparation phase we should able to see all these queries whether which we wanted to keep which we don't want it to keep this is important because this is going to affect our performance of the visuals so that's important to understand and we should take the necessary step so this is how we do it uh, now uh, we are going to just save this and um, this is what we are finished with the data preparation we are not going to do anything uh, in this and we are going to see the next step which is a uh, data model so here you can say close and apply and now uh, you can say this is applied now you can say targets only is showing targets for 2020 and straight province tables are not available here that's how and now these are the tables which we can use now the next step is a model data model you can see uh, this is what it is uh, how the data model uh, looks like so you can see however we are not going to see this practically before doing anything in this practically and understanding all these things we are going to see first what are the uh, what is data model what are the things which we can uh, do what things which we should understand before doing any changes.